So I, I've seen a lot of K-pop dance rotoscopes on YouTube, and I thought I'd try making one using grease pencil. Uh, so I picked the song DNA by BTS, and I found a clip of some of the choreo that I could use. To start off, I created a 2D animation project in Blender, and I made a plane. After unwrapping the plane, I applied the video that I had chosen as a texture to the plane and I framed it so that I could see the video through the viewfinder and I added the song in the video editing, synced it up with the video. Now I make, I'm making my grease pencil layer and placing it in front of the video, ready to load a scope on. And uh, I made a fill material to just fill in the whole um, area with white and added a little bit of transparency so that I could see through it to the image and I started sketching out my um, initial sketches for some of the keyframes. So at this point I suggest you do some of the main poses and then go back in and fill in some of the in-betweens. And uh, I recommend that you keep uh, playing it over and over just to see where you might need to add a few more keyframes and a few more in-betweens to make the movement look nice and smooth. Here's what it looks like with just my sketches. And as you can see, I haven't really filled in every single frame. Uh, you can pick which ones you think you need to have the best look. And um, I also decided to add some cool effects. Since we're rotoscoping, we can be creative with how we want our animation to look. So I started adding these like liquidy effects to the figure. And I've added these trails that kind of follow the motion of the figure. Here's what it looks like. Some of them are more liquidy and some of them are kind of like little explosions. I played around with different types of effects. I started going in with some line art. And sometimes I would switch on the video as well as an extra reference. And uh, for some frames, I added a little bit of uh, motion blur. Now I'm going in with filling in some colors that I that I picked for the main color scheme, and I also added this bright yellow background with a stark black against it for some contrast. So frame by frame, I'm just filling in. Uh, the figure. I have uh, each of the colors on a separate grease pencil layer in uh, one grease pencil object. I also added this one frame where I made the background stark white and the, the figure fully uh, a black silhouette just to add uh, a bit more contrast and make it more dramatic. On a new grease pencil object, I am adding in the effects. and I'm adding a glow effect in grease pencil. And I'm filling in some of the effects on another layer. I'm also adding uh, a little bit of light on the figure um, using a new layer and changing the blend mode of that layer to add and setting it as a mask over the entire figure. Just adding a little bit of light wherever I think the light from the effects will be affecting the figure. And now I'm adding a couple uh, animations to the camera. Uh, most uh, dance practice videos tend to have a fairly static camera, so I'm adding a little bit more dramatic uh, camera movement and I'm uh, making it so that it sings along to the moves and the music. Here's what the camera movement looks like uh, from outside of the viewfinder. And I also decided to add a more textured overlay for some parts, and I made this new material uh, with a high-definition galaxy image. I'm scaling it and repositioning it and added it as a mask over the figure. 
I also made uh, several separate galaxy materials so that it's not always the same when it appears. But I also discovered that you can actually keyframe some of the elements of uh, the grease pencil layers. So I keyframed this one to rotate a bit. And I added in a, a more contrasting background for some parts of the animation to add a little bit more variety. And here it is, the final animation. Okay,